was played by Frank Black and his orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I was about to present Jack Benny to you, but I just found out that something has happened to him which I'd rather not mention here. However, we will do the best we can without him. So now, Frank Black and Aloy, his orchestra... Aloy, Aloy, Mr. Havrilla, tell me what's happened to Jack. Oh, nothing, Mary. Nothing to worry about. Well, tell me what's happened, please. Well, Mary, I hate to tell you, but it seems that Jack went out of his mind and they just took him to a sanitarium. Oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. Yes, I think fighting a duel with Frank Black and then spending a night in the haunted house was just too much for him. Yes, and buying that round of drinks didn't help matters. No. Say, what's the matter, Mary? Jack's been taken to a sanitarium. Sanitarium? Why, I was just talking with him this afternoon. When did all this happen? Oh, just a little while ago. Hey, it's only two blocks from here. Let's go over and see poor Jack. Sure, come on. Come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. Come on, Mary. This must be the place, Mary. Now, what can I do for you folks? Uh, we want to see Mr. Jack Benny. He's a friend of ours. Well, right this way. Follow me. Now, there he is in that padded cell. You can only stay five minutes. I wonder if we can talk to him. Yes, but be careful of what you say. I better talk to him first. Hello, Jack. Uh, don't you know me? I'm Mary Livingston. Why, Mary? How are you, dear? Uh, uh why, uh, why, uh, don't you know where you are, Jack? Why, yes, Mary. I'm, I'm in a sanitarium. Oh, Lloyd, he seems perfectly sane. They shouldn't have him in here. Oh, wait, I'll find out. Uh, how are you feeling, Jack? <laughs> Fine, Aloys. I never felt better in my life. Well, uh, uh, then why have they got you in here? Oh, I don't know, Aloys. All I know is I'm here, that's all. Oh, hello, Parker. Hello, Jack. I'm awfully sorry to see you here. Oh, that's all right, Parker. They'll find out their mistakes. Hey, Frank, you asked him a few questions. Sure. Jack, you remember me, don't you? Certainly, Frank Black. Hey, did you bring that fruit for me, Frank? Yes. Yeah, well, then stop eating it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing the matter with you, Jack. What have they got you in here for? Hey, darn if I know. Say, Frank, there are a lot of people here who don't belong. See that fellow in the next cell? Yes, Jack. I mean, you notice how quiet he is, never opens his mouth, doesn't interfere in anything? What's the matter with him? He thinks he's Vice President Garner. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't think you're somebody else, do you, Jack? Why, no, Mary, of course not. I'm Jack Benny. Well, I'm going to see the superintendent and make him let you out. Where's the superintendent? In the third cell. He just got through with his income tax. <laughs> Been hollering numbers all day, you know. But there must be something wrong with you, Jack. Tell me, did you lose your money in Wall Street? Certainly not. I never lost a cent, Frank. Is it a sweetheart? Oh, don't make me laugh. I never have any trouble with women. But you must be here for some reason. I tell you, there's no reason. It's all a mistake. But it is not a mistake to buy the 1934 Chevrolet. Ah, the most dependable ah, car in the whole price field. It's, it's the advertising you engine, take them away. It's the action wheels and it's the no draft ventilation. Hold them. Hold them. Hold them. <laughs> Frank Black, the Black and his boys playing Nasty Man from the motion to George White Candles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize, really, for going off my nuts. But after all, as Shakespeare once said, the whole world's an asylum and we're all crazy about something or other. For instance, take the different nationalities. One is crazy about spaghetti, another is goofy about herring, Winchell is that way about Bernie, Einstein is crazy about his relatives, and that's the way it goes. Say, Frank, isn't there, really, Frank, isn't there something in the world that you're crazy about? Sure, hazelnuts. I eat them all day. There you are, folks. There's a nut that's nuts about nuts, see? Everybody has a weakness. Now, take Mary Livingston. 
Mary, Ray, what are you crazy about? Well, I'm crazy about Clark Gable. Oh, does he know it? No, that's what makes me crazy. Oh. <laughs> now we're getting someplace. Say, Jack, can I get in on this? Sure, Parker. What are you crazy about? Garlic. Garlic? Say, that reminds me, Parker. I wish you'd only be crazy about it on weekdays, will you please, you know? Why, all the opera singers eat garlic. In fact, it's the secret of my success. Yeah, well, if you think it's a secret, you are crazy. You know? Well, what's wrong with that? I like garlic, too. I eat it all the time. Mary, why do you eat garlic when you know it smells so bad? Well, I tried eating roses, Jack, but they don't taste a bit good. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Let's hear from you, Jack. You must be crazy about something. What is it? Well, Alois, I'm a collector of coins. I mean, that's my hobby. You know, I, I save rare old coins. Yes, when they get in your pocket, they become rare. <laughs> Black again. Huh? And before they come out again, they're old. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see one of your coins make a personal appearance. Oh, yeah? Listen, what about that round of drinks I bought last night? Huh? Round of drinks? Well, I paid for those. Say, hey, listen, Frank, can I help it if you picked up the check while I was out phoning? Jack, there was no telephone in that place. Yeah, well, that's my story, and you'll have to give me time to change it, you know? I thought so. Yeah, so what? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, like a day. <laughs> I think so. Mm. <laughs> oh, awful dull night, isn't it, Jack? Yep, nothing to talk about, you know. Anything new, Havrilla? Well, yes. The new 1934 Chevrolet. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Well, so long, boys. <laughs> oh. Where are you going, Jack? Back to the sanitarium, yes. <laughs> Why, Frank? Yes. Orchids in the Moonlight, from the motion picture flying down a reef. Gentlemen, again this week, we received a fan letter. And if all the fan mail we get here were placed end to end, it would reach twice around. What other program can say? Here's the letter, Jack. Oh, yes. This is from way out west in Arizona. There's Mr. Jack Benny, chair of Staten Island Ferry Boat. <laughs> he must have found out about my vacation. Huh? It says, uh, Dear Mr. Benny, Although it costs us nothing to listen to you on the radio, we still feel cheated. In fact, if all the half hours we spent listening to you were placed end to end, they would reach... Twice what? around your auntie's nose. How did you guess it, Mary? Doesn't... We live out here in Arizona where men are men and women are the gosh darndest thing. And we would like to see you... And we would like to see you put on a real He-Man play of the wide open spaces. A real wet thriller. Al Crawford and Austin. Delancey Gulch, Arizona. Hmm, so they want a Western play, eh? Well, we will not put on a Western play tonight. There's too much bother on such short notice. Telegram, yeah. telegram from Mr. Benny. Here you are, boy. Here we have it. Hmm, Jack Benny, NBC Studio, New York. Hope you received our letter asking you to put on a Western play. Don't fail us. Cal Crawford. You see, Jack, they insist on it. But it's impossible, Mary. We can't do it on this. Mary, answer that. Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, Mr. Benny received your telegram and letter asking him to put on a Western play. All right, I'll tell him. Goodbye. All right, I would never let it be said that the Chevrolet program can't put on a Western play. Go out and get a hundred horses and some saddles. Yes, Jack. Avrilla, round up a couple of thousand head of cattle. Okay. And you, Mary, you dig up some cactus. How about a pin cushion? It's the same thing. Okay, as long as it's Western, you know. And now, folks, it'll take quite a while to build a ranch. Frank Black, who thinks Cheyenne is a bashful girl, hmm, Mr. Benny, will play Pony Boy. Okay, Frank. Yippee! <laughs> all right, Frank, all right. Yippee, he gives me. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was Pony Boy, played by Frank Black and his orchestra. Now for our great Western play, play of the Golden West, Arizona. The first scene takes place on the Benny Z Ranch in Poison Gulch, Arizona, the toughest spot between Phoenix and Ashford. Curtain, music frame. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Frank. We're not, wait a minute. We're not going out that far. You know, just Arizona, that's all, see? Oh, pardon me. You know, just Arizona, yeah. <laughs> Arizona, Arizona. That's better, Frank. Arizona. That's fine music they write out west, you know? You see your misfortune and some of my own. 
goes the old dinner bell. Come on, boys, let's get some chow into it. That's a good idea, boss. I'm stopped. Me too. Who said that? I did. Hey, when did you join this here outfit? I checked my saddle in yesterday. What's your name, son? Jones. Mm, not Buck Jones. No, his little brother, 50 Cent. Oh, half Buck, I think. Now, there's a two-bit joke, huh? Well, boys, let's go in. I'm so hungry, I could eat a bar. A chocolate bar? No, a grizzly bar. <laughs> That's the way we talk in the West. West Virginia. Yeah, let's keep Mae West out of it. Well, boys, let's go in a feed bag. <laughs> You know, we got a Chinese cook out here now. What do we got for supper tonight? Beans again, eh? Well, I want to tell you something. I'm not satisfied with your... Hey, boss, is that our Chinese cook? Yeah, he's been listening to the rise of the Goldberg so much, finally got him. <laughs> Come on, boys, sit down. The soup's here. <laughs> I see that you fellas are all slicked up tonight. Of course, my niece is coming in today from back east. Oh, no. She's coming to stay out here at the ranch with us for a while. They tell me she's a mighty pretty gal. Yes, and I don't want any of you rough cow hands shining up to her. Hey, say, Curly, stop broadcasting that too. <laughs> Hello, Ken. Where have you been all day? Oh, just a spinning my rope. I spent six hours without stopping. Why? To keep a hole in the house. Well, the 615 ought to be in pretty soon. Say, Curly, I want yes. you to go down to the depot, meet my niece, and bring her out to the ranch. Her name's Mary. Okay, boss. Yippee, yippee. I think the horse left first. Huh? <laughs> well, fellas, let's have a little cue. Come on. Huh? Give us a... Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hold it, fellas. Come in. Oh, Sheriff Avril of Carbali County. Hi, Cher. Okay, Coyote Jack. All things on the ranch. Not bad at all. Put down your salad, may a salad, saddle. Put down your saddle and make yourself to home. How about a little snort? Well, don't mind if I do. I'll have a little iodine. All we got is peroxide, but help yourself. Eh? Look here, Coyote. Have you been a brand in your cattle lately? Just a minute, boys. What's that, Sheriff? Oh, Sid, have you been a brand in your cattle? I used to brand them with a red hot iron, but I had to cut it out. Why? Smoke got in their eyes. <laughs> so now I just use a rubber stamp. Say, Sheriff, what made you ask? Well, I'll tell you. I saw some of your stock on the Columbus Circle Ranch this afternoon. Yeah? In other words, I think somebody's been rustling your cattle. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll check up on my herd right away. Hey, Canyon Pete. Yes? Have we been missing any cattle lately? Yes, boss. Last month, we lost 50 heads. I don't care about the head. The best meat's in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm just a warning you, that's all. I reckon I better go out and check up on those critters. I'll be right back, boys. <coughs> Come on, cattle, line up. <coughs> Attention, I'll call the roll. Henry. <coughs> John. <coughs> Frank. No. That sounds familiar, yeah. Spike. Mm. Clarence. Clarence. I'll move to you. I'll move to you, too, Parker. Sam. Sam. Oh, that's an A. Richard. Richard. Hmm. The C.C. Ranch has got Sam and Richard. So they've been a rush on my cattle, eh? Well, they ain't going to get away with it. Hey, boy. Boy, what do you think has happened? What, what is what happened? Our cattle's been took. No. no. Well, what do you think we ought to do about it? I don't know. Let's have another two. Come on, come on. Well, well, well. Hello, Mary. Hello, Coyote. 
It's, it's Coyote, Mary. Oh. Tell me, gal, how's things back east? Oh, fine. You remember the Hudson River? Reckon I do. What about it? It's still running. Well, I, I'm mighty glad things are moving along. Yeah? How's the automat, Mary? They certainly do miss you. Hmm. So this is the ranch house, eh? Yeah, this is the old ranch house. Gee, last week it was a haunted house and looks the same to me. Quiet, Mary. Come in. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Hey, my car just broke down. I'd like to borrow your ranch. But this is a cattle ranch. Oh, pardon me. I thought it was a monkey ranch. <laughs> Shut that door and keep these jokes off this ranch. <laughs> well, you see, if he owned a Chevrolet, that couldn't have happened. Right, Sheriff. Oh, Mary, this is our Sheriff. Sheriff, this is my niece from back east. Hello, Lloyd. Hiya, Mary. Hmm, looks like you two met before, huh? <laughs> Well, Coyote, what are you going to do about those there cattle of yours? I plumb forgot about that. I'm going right over to that T.C. ranch and get back our stuff. Better be careful, Coyote. Curly's been telling me about the bad man over in that ranch. Yeah, who owns that outfit, Sheriff? Rattlesnake Black. <laughs> that guy, eh? Hmm, just a tenderloin. A tenderfoot, huh? Hmm? Well, I'm going over there myself. I can handle him alone. <laughs> Ain't no room in Arizona for both Rattlesnake Black and me. Yeah, he said that, too. Come on, Pete, saddle up my Bronco. How about Groucho and Chico? No, just the Bronco is all I want. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sheriff, how do I get that Columbus Circle Ranch? Well, you ride down Lennox Road until you get to Harlem Creek. Mm -hmm. Then you go through Central Park Canyon to Columbus Circle. I can take the subway and get there quicker. I think. Say, boss, your horse is ready. Well, reckon I'll better get it going. Hey, Pete, bring me my five-gallon hat. You only got a gallon left. I'll take that. <laughs> so long, boys. I'll get Rattlesnake Black single-handed. Atta, boy. Yippee. Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dynamite. Oh, take it easy, boy. Come on, mount him, cowboy. <laughs> Say, boss. I forgot to tell you that horse ain't never been rode before. Well, I never rode a horse before either, so we'll start in together. <laughs> oh, yeah? Say, Sheriff, do I have to get those two cows back? You mm -hmm. sure do, Coyote, for the honor of your outfit. Oh, all right. <laughs> ho, ho, dynamite, ho. Come on, ride him, cowboy. Yippee! <laughs> Well, I'm on him anyway. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> Funny how a horse that's so full of hay can be so hard to sit on. <laughs> you always have that trouble with horses? Yeah, last summer, Saratoga, I didn't win a bet. <laughs> oh, there are horses. A nice fine way to advertise Chevrolet. <laughs> Jack fell off his horse. Look out, look out, he's stepping on him. Dynamite is now riding Jack. Oh, ain't that cute? <laughs> oh. Wait, oh. wait, I, I think he's hurt. Oh. oh, poor Jack. Jack, are you hurt? Oh. Jack, Jack. Oh, Sheriff, see if you can revive him. I'll Get the water, right. quick. Oh, I'll be all right. Here you are. Drink this. Speak to me, it's Mary. Mary. Take a letter, girl. Yes, Jack. But wait till I get this horseshoe out of your ear. No, I'll leave it there. It might be lucky. <laughs> Take a letter. To whom? Rattlesnake Black. Dear Rat. You've taken my cattle, but do you think I'm sore? No, you can have the ranch, the horses, and my five-gallon hat, too. Find Coyote Jack. Is that all? No. P.S. P.S.? What's that? Play, Frank. Uh, that was the last number of the 24th program on the 18th of March. Well, folks, our time is up now, and we'll be with you again next Sunday night. And in parting, all I can say is, I'd love to spend this half hour with you. That's all he will spend. Good night, folks. Good night. This program has come to you through the courtesy of the motor car dealers in your community who represent the 1934 Chevrolet. <laughs>
is the national broadcasting company.